हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज गूगल कोरल एक्सेलरेटर फॉर इमेज क्लासिफिकेशन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू द होल प्रोसेस स्टेप बाय स्टेप वन साइड नोट दिस डिवाइस वर्क्स वेल विथ यू एस so make sure you connect this device to a usb 3 on your laptop or on your desktop if you don't have usb 3 on your laptop or desktop you can still use usb 2 it will work fine so let's get started step number 1 for the process is to install software that enables the communication between the coral accelerator and your laptop or desktop go to coral.ai website inside that go to the products section here you will find all the details related to this usb accelerator you will find a uh, application notes click on that this document will guide us how to install the tpu runtime so since i am using the linux i will follow this steps and install lib edge tpu1 std package on my linux system uh one side note again is that there is a max operating frequency option but i suggest if you are just playing around with this google coral accelerator you don't install uh, this package instead install the uh, standard package so i'll open the terminal copy paste this code so i have already installed the packages step number 2 is to create a virtual environment install the required packages python packages also install the tf light underscore runtime package so let's do these things so i'll open a terminal and here i will create a virtual environment using pip env you can use any package to create environment i'm using python 3.8 so the virtual environment is created now let's activate it for the demonstration of image classification and object detection we will need three packages one is tf light underscore runtime numpy and pilo so let's install them yeah. 
now let's install the tf light underscore runtime so for that you need to select which operating system you are on and then copy the link according to your python environment so i'm using 3.8 so i will select this 3.8 copy the link and here i'll say pip env install and i will say skip log and i'll provide the link so now we are ready for the next step the next step is to download the demo provided on this tutorial page so we will clone a git repository as you can see it downloaded the project we have two example classification and object detection let's see the classification first so in classification there is a install requirement dot sh file uh, run it into your terminal it will download the required models and one image to test the model okay as you can see it has downloaded the models and one image to test the model so let's 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 test the model to test the model there is a python file called classify image.py it requires two three argument one is model which is here mobile net underscore v2 also it requires labels sorry label label are here inet bird labels also the third argument is input to predict the output let's test it okay as you can see that we have a parrot image to test and it identify that parrot with the confidence of 0.77 so this is the classification example now let's see the object detection example again we will go to examples inside detection we have a install requirement dot sh file run it into terminal it will download the required models and one image to test the models one thing i found out during my testing is that these two models are somehow not compatible with the tf light underscore runtime so what we will do we will download the 
latest TPU accessible models inside models we have trained models so we want to do object detection on Coco so we will download this edge TPU model okay and copy paste the downloaded file tf light file into the models folder now we can test the same thing as you can see here we have a detect image python file we need to run this and provide some input arguments okay uh, I need to change the directory let me clear the terminal it requires obviously first argument is model and the path to the models so this is the model then label then path to the labels then input images and what is the name of the image uh, okay grasshopper uh, also it has one argument since it is object detection it has one argument that you can you know uh, from the input image you can uh, do the boundary box on the input image and save it uh, somewhere so let provide that argument that is grass over let's say processed let's test if this works or not okay so you can see that it has around 83 okay it has detected two one is tie one is person both around 83 uh, confidence and i hope it has created okay it has created a grasshopper process so you can see we have boundary box around the tie and around the person so okay it, it works now the last part comes that what you can do with this coral accelerator so what I suggest is that uh, there is a there is a documentation on how to use this coral accelerator with auto ML auto ML is a Google service that lets you create uh, machine learning models and use that model deploy it on coral accelerator and use it use the device as a standalone so here is a whole documentation uh, you can go through it and it, it it has some simple steps and if you find this difficult then what you can do is that you can use another service provided by Google that is trainable machine this trainable machine will let you you know uh, develop image classification model uh, pose identification model uh, sound classification model and it will let you download the model directly usable to coral so you can use it directly on the board 
and you don't have to do any training or any uh, computational stuff. Uh, so I hope you liked my video. If you run into any trouble, please get back to me in the comment section. Peace.